Hello everyone and welcome back to Tech Horizon. My name is Dave and today I'm going to unbox, assemble and take a look at the brand new Raspberry Pi 4 accessories kit from GeekPi. This kit is great for anyone who just bought a Pi and wants to get going. It includes absolutely everything that you would need to get your Pi up and running and in this video I'm going to take a look at it. By the way, this kit was sent to me by the people over at 52Pi to review, so thanks again for sending it over. After opening up the packaging, you'll see that this kit is packed full of Raspberry Pi accessories. This is a USB 2.0 card reader that you can use to access your Pi's microSD card in case your PC or laptop doesn't have an SD card slot. The way this thing works is by sliding your microSD card into this opening and then plugging it into your computer's USB port. Next up, there's also a 32GB microSD card that you can use to flash an operating system onto, together with an SD card adapter and a case. Then there's also a small HDMI to micro HDMI adapter, since the Pi 4 has two micro HDMI ports instead of one full sized HDMI port. Apart from this adapter, there's also a 1 meter micro HDMI to HDMI cable that can support up to 60Hz at 4K. So that's great, it's always nice to have an actual cable in addition to an adapter. Next up, there's also a power supply for the Pi 4. The great thing about this power supply is that it actually has a switch, making turning the Pi on and off a lot easier. Of course, it's a USB Type-C cable with 5 volts and 3 amps, which is perfect for the Pi 4. Unfortunately, they sent me one with an American plug, which means that I can't use it in Germany without an adapter. Last but not least, there's the case itself. This case was designed by 52Pi, is made out of ABS and has a couple of cool features. When opening up the packaging, you'll be greeted with a detailed colored manual. As you can see, I received the black version of this case, but it's also available in white or in clear. First of all, in case you're wondering, yes, you can easily access the microSD card slot, which is absolutely fantastic. If you take a look at the bottom part of the case, you can see that you can also mount the case using screws. Now the cool thing about this case is actually the fact that you can easily open up a fairly big part of the case to access the GPIO pins or the board in general, without having to disassemble the entire case, which is especially useful for people who like to play around a little more with the hardware side of the Pi. Inside of the case we get our rubber feet to prevent the case from sliding around, heat sinks for the CPU, RAM, USB and Ethernet controller I believe. In addition to that, there's also a big 40mm 5V fan that should definitely keep the Pi cool even with heavy loads. Here's a smaller 25mm fan from the GeekPi aluminium case. As you can see, the 40mm fan is significantly larger and should definitely cool the Pi better as well. Oh, and a screwdriver is also included. Now that I've unboxed and taken a look at everything, let's get the Pi into the case.
A quick note, if you're planning on installing the included fan to provide active cooling to your Pi, you actually have two different options. You can either set it up to pull air out of the case or to push air into the case. Personally, I'm more of a fan of pushing air into cases in general, especially since the fan would be blowing air directly onto the heat sinks. So that's what I'm gonna do. When connecting the fan to the PAR's GPIO ports, you also have two different options. You can either go for the quiet cooling mode by connecting the black wire to the ground pin and the red wire to the 3 volt one, or you can go for the full speed cooling mode by also connecting the black wire to the ground pin, but this time connecting the red wire to the 5 volt pin. I'm going to go for the full speed cooling mode, and luckily, thanks to the easily removable top section of the case, changing to the quiet cooling mode in the future won't be a hassle. Okay, now that I've assembled the case, it's time for some testing. In order to see how well this case manages to cool the Pi with the fan being in high speed cooling mode, I will measure the idle temperature first, and then measure the Pi's temperature after it fully extracted a 2GB zip file. And here are the results next to the ones of the Geek Pi aluminium case, the low profile ice tower cooler, and the Pi without heat sinks. As you can see, it managed to cool the Pi better than the aluminium case due to its bigger fan, but just couldn't quite keep up with the low profile ice tower cooler, as expected. Nevertheless, this case did a great job and kept the Pi cool. Overall, I'm impressed by what the Geek Pi Raspberry Pi 4 Accessories Kit has to offer. I think it's a great starter kit for any beginner who just bought a Pi and wants to dive in. The case is great and like I said, not only keeps the Pi cool, but also has an easily removable cover, making it a lot easier to access the GPIO pins. The kit also includes every adapter you could possibly need, as well as a decent power supply with an on and off switch, and a micro SD card. If you're planning on getting this kit, I'll leave a link to it in the description below so you can check it out. And thanks again to 52Pi for sending the kit over. And apart from that, that will be it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I was able to help you out. If you found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like, and if you want to see straight to the point tech related content just like this in the future, please consider subscribing. See you in the next one.